Hello everyone and welcome to the third session on Integers Chapter 6 Standard 6. In today's session we will we'll be learning how do we actually group different kinds of numbers that is we have now natural numbers, we have a zero, we have a whole numbers, we already learned about negative numbers in the previous session. So how do we actually interrelate or group these numbers and next we will go and learn what is predecessor and what is successor. So here you can see we have a representation for our natural numbers. So let me write here natural number and here we have something not something this is actually a zero and then we have a, a small representation for Well, I am not very much good at drawing. So, uh, this is our representation for whole numbers. And then we have the representation for This is our representation for negative numbers. Now, how exactly they are formed? So, what happens here when 0 and natural numbers are grouped together, we got number system which we call as whole numbers. We already have studied about it. Okay, so let us represent this together. So, we have here a 0 and now we have here Don't go towards my drawing. It's not that great. Just try and represent this. So when this two actually combine, we got a system which is known as whole number. So here we have a 0, here we have a natural numbers and this is actually as you have already seen this is what? Whole numbers. Now to whole numbers that is in the last session we already have seen that the numbers to the backward or to the left side of the 0 we are calling that numbers as negative numbers. So we add those numbers also here So here we are representing the negative numbers, numbers which are back to the zero. Now if I group them, we should have a number system to actually represent this. And after grouping them, let me group first. Okay, so now this with the red color is actually a different number system representation which contains the negative number, which contains the whole numbers. Actually, whole numbers itself also is containing a zero and zero and natural numbers. So this whole different 
set of numbers has to be named differently and we call this number system as integers. So now I hope this is clear to you what exactly is integers made up of. Integers is made up of negative numbers, is made up of 0, is made up of natural numbers or in other words you can say it is made up of negative numbers plus whole numbers. I hope that this is clear to you. Let me go to the next session on this to explain you in detail what exactly or how exactly this numbers I understand that we already are aware of the number line so we have something here a number line and a numbers which we are representing from 0 then 1 2 3 4 so hence and so forth and here minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and so on so these numbers which are on the right hand side of the 0 we already say that these are the positive integers or positive numbers and these which are on the left side of the 0 are negative numbers or negative or you can say they are negative integers because we are saying that this group itself is known as integers. So now to give you an idea about what is bigger than what or what is smaller than what. Let's say if I take here 4. So as 4 what do you say? 4 is greater than 3 or less than 3? You would say that why I am asking such foolish questions to you? Because you already are aware that 4 is greater than 3. So let me write here 4 is greater than 3 and 3 is greater than 2. So can I just make up a rule here that the number on the right hand side of any given number is bigger than the number itself. So as 4 is on the right hand side of the 3, 4 is greater than 3 and as 3 is on the right hand side of the 2, 3 is greater than 2. Same way if I come back here, 2 is less than 3 and 3 is less than 4. In other words, whatever are the numbers on the left hand side of the number is smaller than the number. So whichever numbers are on the left hand side, this side of the number 3 are smaller than, than 3 and whichever numbers are on the right hand side of the 3 are bigger than 3. So this is the clear concept of bigger and smaller. So let us take this concept to our negative numbers also because it is the same number line the same concept applies here also. So let me take up the number minus 2. So if I take the number minus 2, whichever number are there on the left hand side of the minus 2 are smaller than minus 2 and whichever number are on the right hand side of the minus 2 are greater than minus 2. So in that case I can write here very simply that minus 2 is greater than minus 3, minus 3 is greater than minus 4 and minus 2 is smaller than minus 1 and minus 1 is smaller than 0. So what is the clear concept? Whichever number are on the right hand side of a given number are bigger than that number and whichever number are on the left hand side of the given number are smaller than that number. I hope this is clear to you. Let us continue next in the next session. Thank you.